Hello, I am Dr. Chaitanya Data. I am a clinical and metabolic geneticist with Sujanan Clinics. Today we will be discussing what is the impact of metabolic disorders. Metabolic disorders or involved errors of metabolism are genetic conditions wherein there is a defect in various biochemical pathways which leads to symptoms. These disorders can pertain to carbohydrate, protein or fat metabolism or sometimes energy metabolism as well. If taken cumulatively, the incidence of these conditions is as high as about 1 in 2,000 life births. In India especially, the incidence is far more common than in the West because of factors such as consanguinity, that is marriages in a relationship, or because of endogamy, marriages in small communities. This causes these disorders to manifest more frequently. These conditions are unfortunately underdiagnosed because they mimic sepsis or asphyxia in many of the cases, and as a result of which, the metabolic testing is not considered at all. This leads to significant mortality and morbidity in, uh, among the patients of these group of disorders. The presentation of these metabolic disorders can vary from absolutely mild features such as poor weight gain, vomiting, recurrent episodes of gastrointestinal upsets, to very severe presentations such as seizures, tone abnormalities, or occasionally leading to coma or even sudden deaths. If not treated in time, they can lead to profound intellectual disability, tone abnormalities, and significant neurological impairment. So it is necessary to diagnose these conditions early and manage early so as to have improved outcomes. Let us consider an example. A baby who was bought at around 6-7 months of age with a relatively large head size and an abnormal tone. On evaluation, he was found to have a condition called glutate acidemia type 1 with significant uh, brain abnormalities on an MRI. We could counsel them, we could initiate management for this child for prevention of further damage. But unfortunately, the dystonia or the abnormal tone part of it is unlikely to be completely corrected. Now, we have another case who was diagnosed in the newborn period by newborn screen. This child has been started on a special diet as well as medication right since the newborn period. And this child is now going to school and does not have any neurodisability. It is the same condition, but we can see the stark difference if a management is considered early on in life before the onset of symptoms. So that highlights the importance of a high degree of suspicion for metabolic disorders and considering early diagnosis and early management for these cases. Management of metabolic disorders involves removal of toxic products from the body as well as providing adequate energy to stimulate optimal growth and development. This is usually done by giving various supplements orally or through intravenous injections and at the same time managing the diet of this child. In dietary management, what we need to consider, we have to reduce the intake of the offending metabolite and at the same time, provide adequate calories to stimulate growth and development. This has to be absolutely balanced because say, for example, in an amino acid or a protein metabolism disorder, if proteins are restricted to a large extent, that can lead to a protein energy malnutrition compounding the symptoms further. So a proper dietary consult and a proper management of the supplementation will help achieve a, prop, a correct metabolic balance and that will stimulate growth and development in the child. So as we have seen that it is necessary to suspect the disorders on time, to diagnose using the correct modalities and then plan a proper management after which we can achieve fairly good outcomes in this group of genetic disorders. So metabolic disorders suspect, diagnose and treat early and that is the mantra of for in one of metabolism. Thank you.